Hey guys, how's it going? We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. I am actually pretty mad at the gaming industry right now, so I'm just going to kind of vent about this. And uh, I first want to talk about the Halo Master Chief Collection and the Assassin's Creed Unity issues that have happened this week. So, if you haven't been keeping up with it, Halo Master Chief Collection and Assassin's Creed Unity both came out this week. Both beautiful games, both have awesome storylines. But the Halo Master Chief Collection was getting up to 12 minutes to make a game online, to match make with a game online. That's almost all that I heard about the game this week whenever I was going through YouTube. That's okay, it happens. You know, matchmaking issues happen. Assassin's Creed Unity, the new Assassin's Creed. Everyone's excited about it. New generation Assassin's Creed. So it comes out. The frame rate gets as low as I believe I heard 17 on a new generation console as well as PC. So this game, the only coverage that it got was that it was having frame rate troubles and that the story wasn't very good and ultimately the frame rate troubles made the reviews worse. It still got like an 80 on Metacritic, I think, I don't know. But this just got me thinking about how bad the quality has been this year in the gaming industry. Take a look at Watch Dogs, the most overrated game of 2014, arguably. There's a lot of them that were overrated this year. Titanfall, uh, Destiny. But Watch Dogs came out, and Ubisoft built this game up to be the end-all, be-all. It's like a Grand Theft Auto V competitor thing with a different kind of storyline. And so, this game came out, and it was a complete and total disappointment. Destiny was built up, it broke the pre-order bone, or the pre-order record, whatever. It broke a lot of records. And you get it, and you play it, and Destiny is a good game, but it doesn't live up to the hype. And I'm just so tired of games not living up to what the industry is making them out to be. Because quality equals the better experience of a game. If the Halo Master Chief Collection had not had matchmaking issues, then it would have been an amazing game to begin with right out of the gate. It's still an awesome game, don't get me wrong. I haven't actually played it, but I know it's awesome because it's Halo. <laughs> but if it had had no matchmaking issues right out of the gate, it would have been fine. Assassin's Creed Unity. Probably not the best idea to go with the French Revolution. That's just my two cents on it. But had it not had all these issues coming right out of the gate, it would have been a better game overall. And the thing that really gets under my skin about this, what really grinds my gears, so to speak, is that when I go on YouTube to look at the gaming news, that's where I get most of my gaming news is through people like IGN and GameSpot and stuff like that, I scroll down the list and I see nothing except frame rate issues, patches, bug fixes, all of these, all of these stuff, there's no... The way YouTube used to be, you could go on and there'd be developer diaries with the developer talking about how the game was made as opposed to making excuses for why it wasn't working. Or you could go through and look at gameplay, which still has gameplay, but actually IGN posted gameplay of Assassin's Creed Unity not working. So, back in the day you could go on YouTube and you could look at a video and actually be entertained and learn more about the game you were getting as opposed to going on and looking at the crappy game you will inevitably buy just because there's nothing else to play and how it is being made out to suck. All in all, this has a vampire effect on the enjoyment of games in the gaming industry. What I mean is that if you make a game that's crappy, then it's going to make this vampire effect that you just play the game and it slowly drains your enjoyment. Because imagine if you're running through a crowd in Assassin's Creed Unity, you're chasing this Templar or whatever. I don't even know what you do in Assassin's Creed Unity because I'm not buying it. But if you're chasing this guy through a crowd, you're really into the game. You got your surround sound headset on, you got your gunner optics, I don't even know what you have. But you're chasing this guy, all of a sudden the frame rate drops to like 17, 15, whatever, and you're running in slow motion and the crowd jitters, it, and ultimately it takes you from being completely and totally enthralled in what's going on in the story, and it throws you back into the real world where you realize that this game was released prematurely, that this game was incomplete when it was released, and that this game needs a patch. It takes you out of the world that they made, and it puts you back into the one that you're playing the game to get away from. And that's ridiculous, because we pay $60 to have a world to get away from the regular world, but this world needs to be quality. What I'm trying to say 
is like I said, quality equals a better experience. And whenever you're really enthralled in the experience and something drags you out of it, that sucks. I'm hoping that this is just companies getting used to the new generation of consoles. But what I think is probably happening is that companies are trying to conform to the constraints that consumers have put on them. Back in the day when Call of Duty was first getting started, no one expected it to be a yearly release, really. It was just like, hey, new Call of Duty. Wow, cool. So, it's kind of like the piece of candy thing from Family Guy. Ooh, piece of candy one year. Ooh, piece of candy. The more pieces of candy you put out, the more kids you're going to get playing your pieces of candy, eating your pieces of candy, however you want to put it. So, we've put this yearly timeline, and now Assassin's Creed has picked it up, and that's a terrible idea, because Assassin's Creed is not Call of Duty. It tried to do that multiplayer thing, but it didn't work. So, Assassin's Creed does not need to adopt the one-year plan. I'm not even talking about Assassin's Creed, really. I'm of the opinion, I'm of the party, I'm of the whatever, that no game should be able to predictably come out. Like, no one should be able to predict when a game is coming out. You can automatically assume that in 10 years, if patterns continue, there's going to be a new Call of Duty the first Tuesday in November, or around that time period. That is a fact of the gaming industry. You can always, always, always count on a new Call of Duty in November. There is always going to be an Assassin's Creed coming out in late October or early November on consoles. That's become a fact in the past couple of years. That's not a good idea. Assassin's Creed 2, arguably, was the last solid, 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 perfect Assassin's Creed. I loved Assassin's Creed 2. Halo was sort of becoming one of those bi-yearly titles, but I, don't, I think that's out of the question. My main point is that the fact that consumers have made uh, companies feel like they need to push these games out to a certain time period has almost killed the, um, excuse me, the uh, quality. It's almost killed the quality of the games because developers are putting more time into uh, planning out what deadlines they have and concerning on getting stuff done on those deadlines rather than being enthralled with the game itself and making it look beautiful, making the story well written, making everything perfect so that we are satisfied as consumers instead of us just buying the game as soon as they get it done. And I hope this changes. I don't think it's going to. Write me a comment down below what you think is going on with the gaming industry and whether you think that a yearly release is right. If you enjoyed this little rant, please drop me a like. Not all of my videos are like this, so head over to my channel and check out some of my other content. I post a lot of videos, and I almost guarantee that there's something you'll like. I would have done a regular video, but I'm just a little bit frustrated today. So, bear with me here, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.